In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use Basecamp for project management. Hey, it's Paul Toby here from Training Business Pros. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're not familiar with Basecamp, it is absolutely a very powerful digital tool that you use for project management. Works great, especially if you have remote workers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the five main areas of Basecamp that we use for our business, and we've been using it for many years, and I'm gonna do that in a step-by-step -step format. So by the time you get finished this video, you'll have a very clear understanding of exactly how to use Basecamp for your next project. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna know about Basecamp is that there are two versions. There is a desktop version and there is a browser-based version. So the browser-based version, you can be anywhere, working remotely and you can absolutely use any browser to access it. But the desktop version that you download to your computer is far more efficient. You can get notifications and things. So it's actually better if you use your desktop. And the difference between the two is nominal. What you're looking at now is the browser-based version and this is the desktop version. So you can see they're very similar in nature. They look and feel the same and they do exactly the same things. So there's really no difference between the two. All right, number two, when you start a new project and invite team members, you're gonna to wanna to know exactly how to do that in Basecamp. So let's go and create a new project. So down here, we're gonna click new project and we're gonna name it client ABC. Click on save. And then once you have that, you can actually pin that to the top by pinning the project. I'm not gonna do that right now, but let's just click on client ABC. And now what I wanna do is invite some people to the team. Click on add people, add people to our team, and I can pick people from a company. So let's go down here to our company, and let's say we're gonna pick these people and add them to this particular project, add selected people. And you can actually personalize a note to them that invites them to the project, and then you can preview and send the email right from Basecamp. The other thing you can do is add clients as well. So we can add a client to the project. I typically use the new way. There's an old way to do it, but I like the new way. Type the client company name here. Let's see, client ABC. And then all you need to do is type their name and their email, give them a title, and then send. So even if they do not have a Basecamp account, they're gonna get an invitation to Basecamp through this project. And of course, then you can start sharing documents and communicating and do all the wonderful things that Basecamp does. So that's how to start a new project and invite team members. Number three is uploading and sharing documents. So for us, that's one of the most important parts, especially when the project is new. So let's go back to the homepage of the client ABC and click on docs and files. And in here, you can start organizing all the specific docs that you need. For example, a lot of our clients are uploading photos and text for their websites and for their marketing that we do for them. So click on new and we're gonna make a folder and we're gonna call this folder website assets. And once we have that, you can click on that and then you can start creating new docs. Now there are many ways to create new docs. You can actually create a doc right in here, which is a Basecamp doc and you can post it. And you can also post links to Google Drive, Dropbox, box.com, OneDrive. You can also upload files from your computer. Let's go and do that. Let's just pick whatever. How to design a sales funnel. Let's upload that, post that to the project. Now, when you post documents, you can also notify people on your team. But because we didn't specifically select people and send them invitations, there's nobody to invite. But typically down here at the bottom where it says subscribers, you can add or remove people that are on the team or that have been invited to this particular application or project. So try to remember that you're not just inviting random people to this, you can only invite people that have already been invited to the project to share a specific doc. Now the good news is, is that if you share folders with certain people, they can upload directly to that folder through their Basecamp application. So we find that the docs and files area is a highly used area and that's why it made number three on our list. 
So it's pretty simple to use. There is really no limit to the size of doc that's in there. We have literally terabytes of information in Basecamp. So don't worry too much about the server space, especially if you are a paid client. Okay, so the next area is number four. We're gonna talk about creating tasks and deadlines, which is really the cornerstone of project management. So let's go and do that. We're gonna to go to the to-dos area and I'm gonna name this list do these tasks first, assigned by CEO. Add this list. And then once we have the list, we can describe a to-do. For example, get the homepage design finished. I can assign that to anybody on my team. In this case, I'm gonna assign it to myself because I'm the only one in the project. When done, notify whoever and it's due on a specific day. So let's say next Friday. We can add any notes and we can upload images and docs directly to here. For example, there's a little attach files thing that we can stick in there. And here is what you need to do. And typically I put things in bullet point format. So, you know, task number one, task number two, whatever, if it's for that specific task. So when you add it to do and you assign it to somebody, they will be notified that that task is ready for them to do and they can actually mark that task as complete. And that's important because if you're looking, for example, at a project and let's go look at a much bigger project. So you can see in this project, there's a bunch of tasks that are marked as complete with little check marks and there are different categories, obviously. The sky's the limit when it comes to creating tasks. But again, one of the cornerstones of project management is your ability to set tasks, set deadlines, and have people adhere to those deadlines. So again, when people are notified and they miss the deadline, then you get notified as well that they've missed the deadline. And then of course you can start following up with them, find out why, and make sure you've got a process to get back on track. Okay, so the final area that I wanted to talk about in Basecamp, and let's go back to our new project client ABC, is the communication process. So there are many ways to communicate in Basecamp. The most efficient way is to make sure that your team members are always logged into Basecamp, and then you can use what's called pings. So I'm going to connect directly with Michael, and I'm basically going to send him a message. Hey, Michael. Can you check out the new task and then hit enter? I'm not actually not going to do that, but it, it goes out just like any messaging system. And if they're logged in, there's a little bell for notifications. Incidentally, if you want your notifications to make a sound, you have to go up here and change your notification settings. Right now, um, my notifications are on, but I can turn them off here. So again, if you want to make a video or something, you don't want any noise in the background, you have to shut off your notifications. The other ways to communicate with your team, and that is really the direct way to do it, but if you want to do the entire team, you can do a couple of things. There's a message board where you can type a message and write that and post it. And you can, again, pick a category, announcement, FYI, heartbeat, pitch, question, whatever, and the entire team will be notified. There is also Campfire, which is you can chat casually with the group. And then you can also do some scheduling down here as well. Quite frankly, we don't use message board and campfire and scheduling very often. We're typically communicating directly through pings and the chat system. Okay, that's my take on project management with Basecamp. As you can see, it's a pretty powerful tool. We've been using it for several years now. It is a little bit on the pricey side. I would recommend you go to Basecamp and check out their actual current pricing, which I don't necessarily know what it is. We pay yearly and we have been doing so for several years now, and we find it very useful. I use it pretty much for all my clients, and I recommend it for any company that wants to be more efficient, especially if you have workers in different places and your client of course is always remote. Okay, so thanks so much for your time. If you have any questions or comments about Basecamp and all of the things that I did here today, you can write them below. And if you use Basecamp, maybe you could let us know some of the features that you find more valuable to your company. Thanks so much for your time.